Yeah, the Second Amendment shall not be infringed. You people need to understand that. Yeah. Go f yourself. Comment, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Go f yourself. Good comment, sir. Go f yourself. Is that the way we want our elected officials to act? Then come out with a weak, I'm sorry that you didn't appreciate my intentionally offensive words apology. But they're not the only ones. Right here in the city of Austin, activists took to City Hall to voice concerns about fluoridated water lowering IQs. The mayor even took it upon himself to use a single finger to display his current IQ after years of ingesting contaminated water. And here's an oldie but goodie candid moment from President Barack Obama. People have been beaten down so long, and they feel so betrayed by government. That's not surprising then that they get better than they claim to guns or religion or uh, antipathy towards people who aren't like that. I know that I've kept a lot of you guys busy this weekend uh, with the comments I made last week. Uh, some of you might even be a little bitter about that. <laughs> yeah, he said it, made a joke about it. But many people on the street still feel that it's a, quote, conspiracy theory that there are politicians actively conspiring to take away guns. First of all, to the gentleman that's dying for attention, uh, someone needs to inform him that there is no gun ban currently. But because of the work that we're doing here today, we will make your sign legitimate shortly. So you hang on to that. And for the sake of time, let's move through some political moments that need no narration. Who are they? Are they these extreme conservatives who are right to life, a pro-assault weapon, anti-gay? Is that who they are? Because if that's who they are, and if they are the extreme conservatives, they have no place in the state of New York. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. I remember landing under sniper fire. There was no greeting ceremony, and we basically were told to run to our cars. Now that is what happened. Thank you. There was no sniper fire either when Senator Clinton visited two Army outposts, where she posed for photos. Hey, John, good job. Let me know what I can do to help you with Boehner. You're a real big shot. 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 Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Mr. Governor. You're going to have to ha ask that we follow some rules here. And one of them is going to be you ask questions. I do the answers. That seem reasonable. I'd love to get an answer. That, that, that would be reasonable, right? You do the questions. That would be reasonable. You do the questions. I do the answers, and this jackass interrupts me. How about that as the, as the new rule of the game? Listen to what Holder told a Judiciary Committee hearing on May 3rd this year. I'm not sure of the exact date, but I probably heard about Fast and Furious for the first time over the last few weeks. Yet internal Justice Department documents show that at least 10 months before that hearing, Holder began receiving frequent memos discussing Fast and Furious. You have said in the past that it was, quote, pretty well confirmed. No, I never said that. Okay. I, I never think said that, that is... No, it's absolutely not. What I said was, uh, it's been pretty well confirmed, that he did go to Prague and he did meet with... Um, a senior official of the Iraqi Intelligence Service. Since we have you here, we haven't had a chance to kind of talk about some I'm of the... I'm not speaking about anything that's off topic. This is only about the president. Well, what about... Thank you. Let me be clear to you. Yeah, I think you have to make it up to me. You're not mayor. You're not mayor. Great You can find more reports at Infowars.com. Celebrate the spirit of freedom and liberty upon which our nation was founded at InfoWarsShop.com. Molon Lave is ancient Greek for come and take it. This popular design combines both classic Greek Spartan imagery with modern M16 assault rifles. Now available in women's tees and proudly made in the USA. And now you can protect yourself from corrupt cops with the InfoWars dash cam. It's your car's black box that records all that the driver sees and hears. And introducing the Block It Pocket. It renders your phone undetectable while protecting your private data and your health. Or take back your privacy and protect your personal information by getting your very own detractor cell phone pouch. So get incredibly high quality freedom-based products and help fund the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com.
www.thepetshop.com.